Good morning, people. It is the week of AP testing starting. Uh, some of you are taking a push. Some of you are taking AP Gov. A few of you are taking the AP European history test this week and the next week. Of course, we have world and a bunch of other ones. But I wanted to spend just a moment today talking about this prospect of cheating, right? We know this is an online test. We know it's open note. We know there's a lot of things going on that would not normally be going on because of the nature of the test. And so with that, I felt it would be worthwhile to point out a couple of obvious things. Now, let's just point out my mug for a second. It says, I'm a woman. I can be as contrary as I choose. Let's just let that sink in and think about things. OK, moving on. Let's share my screen. I want to just share a, a quick message that uh, Trevor Packer came out with. I think it was yesterday or the day before regarding this prospect of cheating, and I'll comment on that and hopefully it'll help uh, shed some light on what it looks like. OK, so first let's take a look at the first one. He did two. It says we've just canceled the AP exam registrations of a ring of students who were developing plans to cheat and we're currently investigating others. It's not worth the risk of having your name reported to college admissions offices. And then the next one says this. Remember, each exam e-ticket is personalized for you and isn't transferable. Don't share your e-ticket with anyone. You could lose your chance to test. To ensure all students have a fair testing experience, we're deactivating any e-tickets we see posted online. OK, this is pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty obvious. However, I, I want to just point out a couple of things that are unique about this. And I'm not the first to do this, so don't think I'm super original here, but uh, there's two things to consider. First, this is a, a threat, right? It's a threat from the College Board. And it's concerning on a couple of levels. One, they are effectively saying no to certain students uh, and accusing them of something that the students have not actually done. In other words, they are being disciplined or punished without having actually cheated. Now, I'm not defending the students, and, and chances are, I know certain students are more inclined to think about this prospect of to cheat or not to cheat. But just the same, I also believe in due process under the law, and I'm a big fan of people getting a chance to defend themselves, whatever the circumstance, okay? So if these kids are making a plan and they have a crisis of conscience the day before the test and don't actually go through with any cheating, I think they should be able to have their test. Now, that being said, it's not my call. And the other thing I want to just, I think really what they're doing here with these tweets or these messages are, are making it very clear that accessing information or sharing information during the course or even before the test is probably an ill-advised plan. To the, to the extent that they're going to share this with college admissions offices, I don't know. They're threatening it. Assume they're going to follow through on that threat. But here's the thing you need to take away from this. You all have spent a very, very long period of time, an entire school year preparing for this exam. You should have what you need to do well on this exam by now. If you don't, here we are. OK, I've told many of you that you should be able to be very successful on this DBQ without the additional content knowledge. If you've explored and understood what the rubric says, you should be able to get a solid five or six out of ten without a whole lot of additional content knowledge beyond the documents. OK, I'm not saying disregard the content. I'm not saying don't review it or don't have it in front of you. What I am saying, though, is don't go to the lengths of talking with other students, cheating, sharing your code, or otherwise risking your AP score just because you're not super sharp on certain aspects of your AP content, OK? The other thing I really want to point out that is that this idea that you're on the test and on this another browser, you're you know doing a Google search or you're on Wikipedia or some other website getting this content knowledge, I've told you this before, but I'm going to caution you again. It is a waste of time. You don't have it. You have 45 minutes, people. And if you have five minutes during that test looking for content details, you're going to run out of time. You just are. 
It's not a good plan. And again, you can do very well without that content knowledge. So why risk it? OK, instead, I would have a limited number of resources in front of you, like probably the textbook, just so you can quickly look at stuff or the unit outlines for your AP test or AP class. And, and, and that's about it. Uh, unlimited notes, fine, but don't go thinking you need to do searches or call your friend or have your brother or sister take. I mean, that's just so goofy. You've done the work. You should be rewarded for it. Don't jeopardize that on the chance that you can get one more point or two more points on the rubric just because you found some obscure fact about something related to the topic of the prompt. Stupid choice. Foolishness. Don't do it, people. It's not worth it. So if you're wondering to cheat or not to cheat, you know what my answer is. And you know what the AP College Board answer is. They're going to find it. They have a lot of resources at their disposal. They're very, very likely going to catch you doing this, and it will not go well for you. So I would not engage your friends or classmates who are talking about this in any way, shape, or form, much less on social media or other publicized platforms. But certainly, my this is only my opinion. I can't control you or tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I would do in your circumstance. I hope it's helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends it is not a good choice. Mr. Minnenberg says so, and therefore it is written. All right, people, that's all for now. Have a great afternoon.